Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Talking Trees with Lee. My name is Lee Rumble, your local Knox County Extension Agent and ISA Certified Arborist. Today, we're gonna to talk about the woes of improper mulching. In particular, volcano mulching. Volcano mulching is the application of mulch at the base of your trees in small circular rings. It's a frequently seen practice. We see it in our medians, in parking lots, in residential yards, and well, pretty much anywhere there is a new tree planting going in the ground, or so it seems. Volcano mulching is an extremely destructive practice and a surefire way to kill your trees prematurely, from new plantings to venerable old trees. When trees are volcano mulched, much of that mulch will remain in direct contact with the tree's bark, and it is this constant moisture and heat from the breakdown of the mulch that will eventually cause the bark to rot and separate from the tree. Over time, this separation of the bark disrupts the movement of water, nutrients, and sugars throughout the tree. Interestingly, as I begin to pull back these mulch mounds, oftentimes I can show how the fibrous feeder roots, instead of growing downward into our native soils, will instead grow upward into the softer and oftentimes more nutritious mulch mounds. People are always amazed to see tree roots growing upwards. Now, of course, this becomes particularly problematic in the middle of the summer as these large mulch mounds begin to dry out. Now, oftentimes, I think we volcano mulch because we desire uniformity in our landscape. But keep in mind, nature is rarely uniform. So why not work with nature and try and implement a mulching system that more closely mimics that of the forest floor? Properly mulching trees is highly desirable and one of the most beneficial ways to protect our trees, slowly feed them, add aesthetic beauty, and ensure their long-term survival. Properly applied, rich, organic mulches are extremely valuable to a tree's overall health, and they are also multifunctional. When properly applied, mulches conserve soil moisture. They help cool surface temperature around the tree's root zone, and they improve soil structure over time. But just as important as these biological benefits, properly applied mulches, simply put, keep people, weed eaters, lawnmowers, and vehicles away from and off of your tree's root zone. So how do we fix trees that have been volcano mulched? Unfortunately, if your trees have been volcano mulched for many years, you may find that there is little that can be done, as many of the fibrous feeder roots will have since developed upwards and matured in the mulch mound. This makes it nearly impossible to rake back the mulch pile without exposing or killing many of those feeder roots. However, if you start with a new planting, implementing best management practices when applying mulch can really benefit your trees. I have included a link in the description of this video that expands on different types of mulches and their properties. Keep in mind that mulch should never be more than three or four inches thick. And ideally, it should extend all the way out to the drip line. That is the length of those furthest horizontal branches on your tree. This allows those fine, fibrous feeder roots to extend out into the drip line and absorb water and nutrients. Mulch should never come in direct contact with your tree's bark. And when you're done mulching, you should be able to see the trunk flare. While the upfront cost of a few wheelbarrows full of mulch doesn't seem too costly, the long-term consequences of improperly mulching your trees certainly are. This year, I hope to encourage you to think twice before just applying another layer of mulch. Should you have any questions regarding your specific tree or the best types of mulch to utilize in your landscape, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you have a great rest of your week.